week review for you guys and this is a company review um, I was asked by the company S&G to do a review on their new wig that just came out which is Cameron and of course I said yes for you guys so I went ahead and got it in the um, number 1B and this is the box I got it over the weekend and I'm super excited to do this review. Cameron comes in a lot of colors, but I will display that in this video up close and personal so you guys can get a look at all the colors that they have, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the one thing I do love about Cameron is, can you guys see the curls on this baby? Woo! She is just so beautiful. So she Of course packaging is everything I just feel like the way you handle and care for your wigs seriously is bomb.com by me when a company takes care of how they do their packaging so of course it comes in this box and it has this beautiful paper to unveil the wig so I'm gonna go ahead and take her all out let's get into it let's pull her back all right so the claim of fame to Cameron is she is flat with a laid parting deep and wide um, natural hand tie lace parting she is curling iron safe um, up to 400 degrees and seriously guys she is gorgeous now oh she is she fits so good guys like not even joking and I have like I say I have like a medium head like a small to medium head and I think she's Big head friendly, um, the stretching is amazing on this wig. Oh my God, she is seriously, absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry if I'm staring at my viewfinder, but I have to. Like, <laughs> I can't keep my eyes off of her. But I'll look into my mirror then if I wanna not look too crazy. <laughs> but she is absolutely gorgeous, stunning, holy crap. And I am not joking when I say these barrel of curls, these huge barrel curls, like, it's on point. They really, really thought this one through. I mean, the styling, and it does have that crinkly effect. You will see it in person, I will tell you that. Um, but if you're not bothered by it, flaunt it. I'm not bothered by it. I think it's pretty... I think it's pretty manageable. I think it's pretty nice, actually. It's not like the copper wig, though. So the copper wig has that crinkly effect, but you can't see it in person. This one you can, so just be aware of that, okay? Again, I am loving. Even in the middle part, it is so gorgeous. Like, it's super cute. Um, she falls a good 20, about 20 inches on me. Like, probably 20 to 22 inches on me. Um... But man, the layering, the curls, like she is just, look, it's just so juicy, guys. I wanted to see if I could fluff her out even more. She is so gorgeous. She is absolutely gorgeous. Jesus, va va voom, okay? <laughs> so I do not even have the combs in, and this fit perfectly on me like even I didn't even adjust anything and it fits really really good I don't know if it's because of my low ponytails giving it the <laughs> the hold but it is absolutely gorgeous here is the hair in the back it moves it shakes it does it all I freaking love this wig like she is absolutely gorgeous <laughs> powder method but I will say this about the wig even though I love soft lace but there are pros and cons between soft lace versus hard lace 
Hard lace is very stiff, it will stay in place, it won't move, it won't lift up, anything like that. Soft lace is completely different because you are dealing with the fabric. It lifts up. So if you're thinking of running your hands in it, you got another thing coming. This is a wig that you don't want to do that too. Now the other thing that I have done with Cameron is I did pluck a little bit at the beginning point because there are some hairs there and those are baby hairs and which I do love. They have baby hairs in this way. It's really cute. Um, but you do have to pluck a little bit of those. All I did was take a few strands and just pull. And usually that comes with soft lace. You can actually just pull the strands really taut and they will come out. Um, but other than that, I put my powder underneath and then I put my foundation powder right at the beginning so it can blend into my skin a little bit just because I didn't want a demarcation of something really light. So I am going to come up and show you guys how that looks. I hopefully my camera can do it. Let me see if I can focus. There you go. So that is the wig right there where the where it begins and where it goes into my skin. Again, you just need to take your foundation powder, stemple it underneath the wig, and then go ahead and lay it on there. And then the rest can be the very light powder that you use. So that's what I did. I also tucked in my ears because you guys know I don't like ear pieces. And this does help a little bit with the lifting. You only get a little lift here. But again, this is your bang, so it's not a big deal. I also tucked where the earpiece was right here. That also gave me a little bit of backspace. So when I do this, it's just my baby hairs coming out. So that's what I did to make sure to camouflage a little bit um, with this wig. But overall, I mean, I look at the parting. It is so gorgeous. I love it. So yeah. But you guys are going to love this wig. I think it's absolutely a gorgeous wig. I will have all the links below of where you can get this wig, all the pricing and stuff so you can pick and choose where you want to get your wig. Also, I'll leave the links to SNG's website as well as all of their social media if you guys want to follow them because they do post when they have new products out and about and you guys can get your hands on it as quick as possible as the rest of us. Anyway guys, I hope you guys love this wig review because I am definitely feeling like this hair is so juicy. Uh, I'm going to take lots of pics. If you're following me on Snapchat and Instagram, you guys have already got a sneak peek of it before this video goes up. Anyway loves, thank you so much for watching this video and for all my newbies, welcome to my channel. But my Odie's out there, hey loves, thank you guys for rocking with me. I'll talk to you guys later.